In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a defensive tactic that some of you might not be aware of that is really effective whenever guarding trips formations. Now, this is not just bunch. It's not just you trips, trips side in. It's any trips formation in the game, but I think it's most uh, commonly applied to trips tied in. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. Um, also, guys, this is a universal concept, but if you want to get my exact offense and defense that I run, make sure you join our Patreon. I've got all my eBooks in there for you guys, and uh, by joining, you get access to everything. It's only $10 to sign up, and like I said, it'll get you access to all of the offensive and defensive eBooks. So um, this little adjustment, again, it is universal, so you can do this out of anything you want to do. Uh, we'll show it today at a nickel 3-3 just because it's easy, and uh, we'll come out here in the cover one robber. Now, oh, I'm sorry, one one quick re requirement. Make sure in your coaching adjustments that this is set to match. Now, you don't have to uh, put it on baseline, man line, whatever you want to do, but the main, the only thing you need is this it has to be on match coverage, okay? So, again, we're going to jump in cover one and show you this against strips tied in. So trip side in is kind of an offense that really revolves a lot around the inside trips receiver or the number three, the number three receiver, okay? And so um, if we could shut down this number three receiver, um, then it really limits what the offense can really do. For example, the number three, number one receiver is on this nice corner route, uh, and this nice corner route is oftentimes going to be able to get pretty good separation, whether it be against man or zone. Um, you know, they'll also do different things with this guy. Uh, but this guy is one of the better keys uh, to stopping trips. You have to be able to stop that receiver. Okay, if you can stop that receiver, then you can slow down trips. If you think about it, verticals, the verticals route is really good. The curl flat route, the crossers, um, and Alexander is actually doing an unbelievable job in man to man. Uh, why wouldn't he as soon as I start recording a video? Uh, but the bottom line is this guy is really good and he's really the key to the whole formation. If you can't shut this guy down, um, it's going to be hard to guard in trips tight end. Now, the key to the U trips formation is the tight end, who would be the number three receiver in the trips. Um, so you have to shut down the tight end. And the bunch, it's a little different, but the tight end is still really important in bunch as well. So, you know, that's the number three receiver in those formations. The bottom line is oftentimes the number three receiver is a problem in almost any formation you face. And this little principle that I'm about to show you is going to slow that player down. So what we're going to do with Alexander here, uh, just to make this easy on us, we're just going to drop him into a zone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this safety and I'm going to put him into an inside quarter. Okay, an inside quarter. And then we'll just pass Kabay just for good measure. And what you'll notice is this inside quarter will match that number three receiver wherever he goes. So you'll see here he'll match this corner and he'll drive on it. And a lot of times he'll get these glitchy animations where he picks the ball um, when it might look open, for example, but he'll just jump in front of it and take the ball away. Um, now, another way we could do it is we could take this other safety on the right and put him in the quarter. So let's say we set up a defense that looks like this, this inside quarter to the safety, and this time we're going to run that verticals crosser, and you're going to see again that inside quarter is going to match. You see that inside quarter is matching him, and he's taking him all the way across the formation, and he stops it. It doesn't matter if Jair Alexander's manned up or not. It doesn't matter if anybody's manned up or not. And you can actually do this out of almost any play. You just cannot be in a cover four quarters, cover four palms, or cover six. But you can do this out of anything else. So, for example, if I wanted to play a baseline defense but still get some value out of the man coverage, I might take that safety that's on the trip side and put him in an inside quarter. And then I'm going to put the third uh, you know, on this other safety. So you see I have a hard flat. I've got the quarter for the cross or any corner around any cross around. I've got that matched. And then I'm using in the middle of the field. So now if they were to try to throw a flood concept like this to the left side of the screen, you're going to see that that quarter is going to match that. And a lot of times, as I said, is going to kind of bait them into throwing you an interception. Uh, the same thing is true. Uh, again for the crosser so any kind of and it's any route it's any vertical it, it, it's really any route whatsoever so even if it's like a drag he'll go guard him 
um, on that drag. So let's say, for example, here, they're going to try to hit us with this deep crossing route that's really good against cover three. You're going to see he's going to match it really well and be able to be in a position where he should have swatted that down. This is also really good because the route running ability is not going to, uh, you know that Chris Gallo has a route running ability. It's not going to matter um, whenever you use this quarter trick. So this is a great way to shut down uh, trips tied in. Now, this is also something that you can apply, though, uh, to other formations, okay? You can apply this to other formations. So let's go to U-Trips, for example. And U-Trips is really centered around the tight end, which is the number three receiver. Now, if they motion into two-by-two two sets, then it's not going to play the same. But if they're in this three-by-one set, it's a great little adjustment uh, to stopping these sets. So you see here, I'm going to try to flood the, the zones on the right. We're going to do that same thing we were doing against trips where we inside quarter, and then we roll a third over like this. And what you'll notice is that quarter zone is going to match the tight end, as you can see, and we're not going to be able to throw that, uh, that corner route. Same thing is true of a crosser to the tight end. So now we've got a really simple adjustment that where we can just neutralize any vertical from a tight end. So let's say I run something that looks like this. You're going to see that quarter once again is going to match him and take him all the way across the formation. And a lot of times if I click on there, I can jump in and intercept it. You can apply this quarter concept to any three receiver. It has to be a trips look. It has to be a bunch a U trips, a trips tight end, a Y trips week. Um, these are the kind of looks that you're trying to apply this to. So let's say, for example, we come out in this trips Y flex. This is just some random formation. I don't, I don't think I've ever called any one of these plays in a game. And you'll see here, if I try to throw this crossing route to break, again, what am I going to do? I'm going to inside quarter that safety that's over the top of him. And I'll show you that. I'll bring it home in just a second. But if you watch here, you see that he's matching him across the formation, and now he's in a perfect position to bat down the ball. If you have deep out zone KO, that's going to activate uh, consistently. So you're countering the route running ability with a match or zone, and it's also going to be really effective because of the fact of what I'm about to show you, and that's dollar. If we were to baseline dollar against trips tied in, for example, uh, I think that's the one formation that gives baseline dollar some trouble. So if our match is on, we can be in any defense we want. Let's say that we're in DB fire too, okay, and we're doing this, right? I want you to look to the left side. If I audible to spinner, I want you to look to the left side. You're going to notice that nobody, nobody is matched up on that corner uh, or that, that, that Godwin, okay? Nobody's matched up on Godwin. So what we're going to do is we're going to man up that tight end with a third to kind of help us get keep leverage on that tight end. And then we're going to take this backside safety and we're going to put him in that inside quarter. And he's going to match Chris Godwin no matter what route he runs. It doesn't matter. So to the corner, he's going to match Chris Godwin and he's going to be able to run over there and make a play on the ball. He'll be able to do that on either side. And that is what makes this such a valuable thing. We can do this out of... I mean, we, this really helps slow down trips tied in from a dollar perspective because this quarter zone is just going to match what I would argue with anyone is the most important receiver in this formation. So you can see here we're going to send that double pressure, and you'll see again I'm going to alert the tight end. You see how fast the pressure comes, and you see that Chris Goblin is getting matched across the field. So this is a great little trick. You can do it out of any formation, but if you want to learn my defense, my offenses, make sure you're in our Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for those uh, ebooks, it's just ten dollars. Head down to the description below, click the link down below to go join the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.